Hey, what's up guys? Mario back again with another YouTube video. Today I'm going to talk about GameStop, Wall Street Bets, another short squeeze for the record. I am happy to announce that I was part of this short squeeze once again. I did talk about it in a previous video that I made two weeks ago. I'm going to post it right here. You got to take a look at it. I did diamond hands for two weeks and I was actually at a point. I wasn't sure this was going to work out, but I uh, laid out all my, my, my trading plan, my investment plan on this video on top of go uh, here on top. And you guys can take a look at it, but uh, that's not the point of this video, guys. The main, main, main point that I want to talk about that I'm, I'm again, excited to talk about is I am going to start sharing uh, a small $1,000 portfolio. I'm going to make it public. You guys can see my stocks that I invested in, why I invested in, pretty much everything that I bought it, uh, especially for those who are new and in investing or trading and are, are not sure what to do, are curious as to what is the process? What do investors do uh, before they buy a stock? I am going to share that, guys. I'm making this video to help a lot of you guys and then this YouTube channel specifically for the new guys. So especially if you have a small account, I am going to be using a cash app as well as Weeble cash app because it allows you to buy fractional shares. So for those who don't have a lot of money, Hey, you really don't need a lot of money. You actually, with the, well, you can actually buy stocks using the cash app with $1. That is it. Um, now I do like Weeble though, because actually the charts are amazing. Uh, so you're able to do technical analysis, you know, put lines and all that kind of good stuff. Uh, so that's the reason why I use Weeble. Uh, and also you're allowed to, uh, you could also buy uh, Bitcoin on Cash App and also Weeble. Uh, but I do prefer to prefer buying Bitcoin on Cash App. And I'll let you guys know in a little bit why I, is that. Now, don't forget to uh, smash that like button and subscribe down the channel down below. I'm going to share my screen. I am going to share my Cash App with my account as well as my Weeble. So you guys could take a look at my positions. Now, these videos are for learning and entertainment purposes only, guys. Don't forget that. And I hope you guys are able to learn uh, from this. You guys are able to make your own investing decisions in the future. So let me share my screen, okay? Uh, let's do that really quick. Okay, let me, uh, let's do that. Okay. Now, one thing I want to quickly mention, guys. Uh, I did post a link down below in the descriptions. For those who don't have any brokers, like I mentioned, I am using Weeble. Uh, and I am uh, do have a link below that if you do click on the link, you will get two free stocks and valued up to $1,800 <clears throat> when you open a brokerage account with $100 or more, uh, et cetera. Now, I also have a link for, for the Cash App. So you guys don't have the Cash App. Um, if you do try the, the, the Cash App using my link and my code, you will get $5 uh, for 75 bucks. So that's my code right here, but you got to click on the link. And again, guys, these are apps just for you to allow you to uh, kind of invest and trade, things like that. All right, so uh, moving to my account. This is my uh, public um, investing account on Weeble. I will share my, my cash up as well, but let me go over my Weeble first. Um, and then I'm gonna go over uh, the, uh, the uh, GME stock, the GME trade and how I, I traded it and things like that. I will go over that as well. So pretty much this is my account. Uh, these are my positions right now. Um, I did take, um, uh, I did uh, trade on the GameStop and another account. So that's a separate account, but this is my small account that I'm making public. So these are the stocks that I currently own on this account. Um, I do own uh, Workhorse. I do own a Freya, Tilray, again, uh, from uh, the, uh, these are the uh, cannabis sector, uh, a Global Star. This, uh, this is a uh, 5G sector and Trivago. Uh, this is a, a reopening trade, a, uh, a travel stock. So these are the positions and the values too, $64, $52, $47, $23. And I actually uh, took some profits on, on, on GSAT or Global Star. And I'll show you that in a second. So, and I also own $92 here. Now, one to quickly mention uh, as well is that right now, the reason why if you look at my net account value is only like a hundred bucks is because I'm actually using margin. I am trading in margin. I have $400 that are gonna uh, be deposited pretty soon. Uh, let me show that right here. Here it is. So it says, dear customer, your deposit of $400 is being processed. Please allow five business days for these funds to settle and become available to your account. So that's pretty much the reason why you guys see that. So right now I am using margin. Um, so if you guys can see, I opened this account on February 17 to put it, open it up with a hundred bucks. And then I bought Trivago, Pajisa, Tilbury, Freya, and things like that. Again, all on margin. Uh, so I do like margin guys. I highly recommend it because it allows you uh, to, to buy uh, more than you have and leverage your positions. 
uh, as long as you do it, of course, in, in a risk, uh, a, a, a risk management type of way where you're not risking more than you risking uh, more than you should, uh, it does make sense. And I'll explain to you that in a little bit more. So again, net value, actually total market value is $279. This negative cash balance, negative 179 is because I'm using margin. Now I still have $220 uh, buying power, which is pretty cool. So I could, you know, because of margin, I could still continue to buy over $200 worth of uh, stock. So that's pretty awesome. So let's go over the portfolio. <clears throat> so uh, first of all, I want to quickly go over uh, uh, GME, GameStop, let you know what pretty much what happened really quickly. Just for those of you guys who want to know what really happened. I actually ended up buying um, uh, two weeks ago. I believe it was like around the, uh, yeah, like probably like uh, December 10, let's December 11. And the reason why is because after all this, uh, of course, fiasco with, you know, with, with Robin Hood and, and in Reddit and uh, Wall Street Bets, uh, you know, they actually, Robin Hood CEO um, and even um, other uh, Reddit users had to uh, testify in front of Congress and talk about what happened. Uh, so, you know, because the stock was pretty much falling, it was starting to hit support here around, uh, 50 and 40s and this is support area. And I felt like that would have been a great uh, area to bounce for like a dead cap bounce type of trade. That's the reason why I also I got in there. Not only did, uh, not only I also got in there on, on GME, but I also got in on AMC. But really what caused this move right here uh, was because uh, you know, some recent news that happened on GME, on GameStop. And I'm going to show you right here. And again, this is why I, this is the reason why I like uh, uh, Weeble. It's because all the information is so easily available. And here's some of the news that happened. Uh, so let's see where is the news that I'm looking for. It was something about so that was yes yesterday was the 24th. So let's go over the 24th. So let's hear a day ago. So so okay. So all right. So GameStop ready covers from longer outage heavy surges unlikely again. Da, 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 da. Barons, uh, what performing? Okay, all right. So let's kind of go over what really what happened. Uh, so pretty much what happened, guys. Uh, there was a, a proposal uh, for T plus one, and the reason why a lot of the you know, for example, uh, brokers including Robinhood, you know, their argument, the reason why they didn't allow traders to kind of buy any more stock. Uh, during the whole, uh, you know, squeeze was because supposedly people were buying on margin and, and they didn't have enough money uh, on hand to cover their positions. So they couldn't let any more people buy. That was according to them. And it was because of T plus two, because, you know, when you trade, it does take around, uh, you know, two more days for those, uh, so that money to kind of settle in. Uh, so for example, even in my position right now, I have a hundred dollars in my own position, but I'm leveraged to like 200 and something dollars. And again, that's all on margin. Uh, so, and it's because of T plus two. Now for me, it's going to take me like five days when the deposit come through. I'm still waiting until like Friday for that deposit to go through. So that was the argument. So there was a proposal for uh, T plus one. Um, and it's somewhere in here. And I might actually just Google it uh, really quick. So you guys can kind of take a look at it. T plus one. Uh, okay. Okay, T plus one proposal. There, here it is. Oh, actually. So the T plus one use, uh, for whatever reason, I can't find it, but here it is. T plus one is selling an example. So there is some news regarding, I, I you know, definitely I got to search it. Uh, don't little really readily have it with me. So that was pretty much one of the, 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 um, the things that started trending on Reddit. So because of that, you know, people started buying it and it started kind of go uh, viral and, and it just started to squeeze out after hours. Uh, so actually let's just look at this article really quickly, you know, just to kind of see what kind of what these guys are saying, but pretty much, GameStop shares close 104% higher in afternoon rally, up another 100% in after hours. So rally, uh, GameStop rallied hard during the last hour of trading on Wednesday and is moving higher after hours. Shares again re in the session ended up more than 100%. Shares halted up their uh, volatility twice, et cetera, et cetera. So G 
GameSense and shares were at the center of massive short squeeze in January, filled by the Redders, by Wall Street bets. Uh, you guys can see that. But on Wednesday, so this is where it's at. Wednesday, Redders on the forum discussed the upcoming, upcoming exit of GameStop CFO Jim Bell. That was another one. Uh, Jim Bell pretty much got fired because, you know, they had an opportunity to raise money and they didn't. So the company announced that Bell will be stepping down in March. That was one part of it. Uh, okay, here it is. Oh, wait, hold on. So GameStop was recently at the center of creational status. This is what, you know, during the creational hearings where uh, Robin CEO, whatever, whatever, Citadel was also there. Uh, recent short stock. So actually, they didn't really talk about specifically why. So pretty much this is some of the news, um, but there was that proposal for T's plus one. And again, I do apologize, uh, can't find it, but that's pretty much it. You know, again, that kind of stuff started trending and then all of a sudden it started to pump, you know, uh, uh, GameStop and it started to squeeze a lot of shorts. Again, I was already in, I kind of waited for like two weeks. Uh, I wasn't expecting, um, you know, to be another pump. I was actually kind of expecting maybe uh, just a, a somewhat type of move, but this move was like huge. So I did end up taking profits around like a hundred and then um, and I, like 160. And then I took off the rest of the, the shares once I noticed like this kind of trend uh, breaking down. So there was this trend here. Um, let me kind of share, there it is. So there was a trend here that kind of broke down and I, and decided to take the rest of my shares once this trend broke down and that was it. So that was my trade on, 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 on pretty much on GameStop. Uh, so that's pretty much it guys on this. Um, I want to share um, kind of like uh, my, um, my, my cash app really quickly. So you guys can see my stocks that I hold on the cash app. Now I will have another more videos to kind of talk about those positions and what I'm doing with those and all that kind of good stuff. So all that's good information is going to be there. Uh, so let me share that really quickly. Uh, in order for me to do that, I do need to change cameras. Okay, uh, and give me one second, guys. Okay, so let me share that really quick. All right, so, okay. All right, so let me share that right now. Uh, okay, files, let me see, Vance. All right, there it is. Okay, so I'm gonna share my, my cash app on my phone so you guys should be able to see it any second. And okay, there you go. So this is my cash app account. Um, you guys can see I did invest $400. I am down $27 and 57 cents. Uh, but if you guys can see here, this is my total portfolio. I do own square. I buy 90, $94 worth of square. I do own trade desk. I bought hundred dollars worth of square uh, trade desk, but I'm down. I bought $50 worth of Boeing, uh, $50 worth of Virgin Galactic. Uh, and $50 of snap and $50 worth of uh, canopy growth. Now, if you guys could see, uh, let me see. This is the reason why I, lo I love the cash app is because see where it says shares own. I actually own less than one share. I own 0 0.415 shares of uh, Square because the share price of Square, one share is cost $227. I didn't want to invest $227 on Square. I only wanted to invest hundred. So you guys can see my activity. I bought hundred dollars worth of shares of Square. So that's why I like, uh, I love Square. Uh, not only with Square, but also with Trade Desk. Look at that. You know, Trade Desk, one, pride, one share of a trade, the Trade Desk is $754 is insane. Uh, but again, I only bought hundred dollars worth of it, which is 0.116. Uh, so that's the amazing thing. The thing that I love about um, the cash app is it allows you to buy stocks, fractional shares. So you don't have to go, you know, you know, you don't have to worry, especially if you have a small account, you can even buy stocks with as little as $1, which is what I love. Uh, so that's the reason why I really like this. Oh, no, here's my Bitcoin um, that I do own now. Uh, this is the stuff, the pick one that I own on, on my cash app. Right now I have it on the auto invest. I do invest $10 every two weeks. Uh, so every other Monday, my next purchase is going to be March 8th. 
And uh, I've actually bonded some more uh, and things like that on my own. So if you guys could see here, I bought 20 bucks yesterday, uh, 15 the other day. And um, yeah, Monday I got, got 10. So that's what I got. So I got $40 worth of Bitcoin. So um, hopefully all this stuff makes sense, guys. Again, I highly, highly, highly recommend you guys to, um, to, to look into these apps. Again, I will be making my portfolios, my, this, this small portfolio public for you guys to kind of look at the stocks that I'm looking at. And I will go more in depth on why I bought these stocks and what levels, all, kind of, all that kind of stuff. And hopefully you guys are able to learn from this. Now, as a reminder, guys, all these videos are for learning and entertainment purposes only. Don't forget that. If you have any questions, let me know down below. Let me know on the YouTube comments. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe down below on the YouTube channel. And you guys will hear from me soon. Take care, guys.